Oh, okay, so there I was, flying along, minding my own business, of course, when all of a sudden, this round, white bird, zooms up right next to me. Well, who was? What'd you do? I said, well, hello there, I'm Norval, and who might you be? But this round white bird doesn't say a word, oh no, oh no, then, soon, she drops down right out of sight. Wow! So, I look down, I see this white bird just lying in the middle of a field. Was she okay? Clifford, I had the same question! So I flew down to see if I could help. Norville, that was a round white bird. It was a baseball! Well, excuse me! Well, a baseball? Well, I, I guess that could explain why she was so quiet. And guess what, everyone? I'm going to the grooming shop today! Well, uh, that's great, Jorge! Terrific! It sure is! Great. What's a groom shop? Well, it's, you know, a, a grooming shop where you, uh, you shop for grooming, I guess. Oh. Whatever it is, Nina says I get to go. Grooming is just a fancy word for keeping yourself clean. So and I groom ourselves all the time. We lick our fur clean with our sticky tongues. Oh, is that what I have to do at the grooming shop? Of course not. Only cats can do that. Dogs probably just get a fancy bath with bubbles and stuff. A bath? That's worse than a sticky tongue. No, no, relax there, Jorge. I have seen lots of grooming shops, and I know all about them. This should be good. First, they give you a bath. Well, I guess that won't be too bad. Then, they trim your nails. Oh, that sounds okay. Then, they clip your fur off. <gasps> clip your fur off? That's awful! One time Nina's baby cousin pulled the fur on my tail and I didn't like it at all. Don't listen to Norville, Jorge. You don't have babies at rooming shops. Do they, Norville? Well, I, I've seen uh, maybe a one or two. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the rooming shop. Don't worry, Jorge. You don't have to go to a shop to get groomed. We can groom you right here. Okay, Jorge. Stand right here. The grooming will begin any minute now. Hey, what's gonna happen? What am I waiting for? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Great! <laughs> that should get him nice and clean. Hey, look at that! Little hot dog is enjoying himself! <laughs> huh? Aww. Okay, Jorge! Time for some styling! Hey, whoa! Wait a second! Hold that tickles! <laughs> Ta da! Wow. I've never seen anything like it. Cool! Oh. Jorge! What happened to you? Oh my goodness, you're a mess! I'm gonna call Grooming Shop right now and see if we can get you in early. This is definitely a grooming emergency! Hmm. Some people just don't appreciate cutting edge fashion. <coughs> oh, now what am I gonna do? Who wanna help me play with my squeak bird, Jorge? <sighs> no thanks. Come and play, Jorge! Yeah, you can be on my team! <sighs> No, thanks. Hey, excuse me there, kids. Uh, I just want to give this super-sized dog biscuit to my very good buddy, Jorge, here. No, thanks. Wow. The poor guy is really worried. He turned down a dog biscuit. I don't want to go! Help him, guys. There might be some way we can keep him from having to go to that grooming shop. I really don't think it's a big deal to go there. He'll be with Nina. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, what does my fur have to be neat and clean anyway? 
Wait! I have a big idea! Well, maybe if Jorge wore clothes, Nina wouldn't care if his fur was all neat and clean. She wouldn't even be able to see it! That's perfect! Great idea, Clifford! I still think you should just go to grooming shop. But if you guys want to try this... Yes! <sighs> Come on, Jorge! We have a plan! You do? Are you dressed yet, Jorge? Um, sort of. Oh, come on out the hot dog. Do I have to? Yes! yes! Okay. Well, here I am. Yeah! You look great, Jorge. What do you think, Daffodil? Uh, well, uh, I like your hat. Oh, I'm gonna go and show Nina right now. <laughs> Jorge, you look adorable! Hey, it worked! Nina thinks he looks adorable! Oh, you're so cute! Of course, I'll have to take all that off before we head off to the groom shop. I came to tell you that we got your appointment changed. We'll be leaving in just a few minutes. You sure do look cute. <laughs> well, now what am I gonna do? There's only one thing left you can do, pal. That's right. Hide! What? No! All right, Norville. I'm gonna look for a hiding place right now. Norville, what did you tell him to do that for? A loony, I ran out of ideas, okay? How about this idea? We all just make Jorge feel better about going to the rooming shop. But he doesn't want to go. Clifford, Jorge doesn't even know what the groom shop is. I say that if Nina thinks it's a good place for him to go, then he should go. Gosh, I didn't think of that. Nina would never let anyone hurt Jorge. We should tell him that. But now he's hiding. How will we find him? Oh, just leave it to me. Great hiding place, Jorge. Really? No. Mm, how about now? Uh uh. No. It's my tail, isn't it? It always gives me away. No, Jorge. Nina really loves you. Oh, I know that. She'd never take you anywhere that wasn't safe, would she? No. She takes really great care of me all of the time. That's what I thought. So, maybe taking me to the grooming shop. Is just another way that she takes good care of me? I think you're on to something. I'm sure you're right, but I still don't want to go Daffodil. So what will you do? Stay out here and hide forever? Right through dinner and breakfast and lunch and stuff! You're right. I can't miss lunch. You know, maybe the grooming ship won't be so bad after all. Jorge, where are you? Time to go. Oh, there's Nina. I better go. Good luck, Jorge. Daffodil? Mm hmm? Thanks. You're welcome, Jorge. There you are, boy. Time to go. Oh, oh poor Jorge. All we can do now is wait and be here for him when he gets back. Jorge is going to be just fine. He will make sure of that. Okay, everyone. Now remember, we have to be brave for Jorge. Right! Oh, brother. Hi, everyone! What Hi, Jorge! Oh, I thought the groom shop is a great place. Normal had it all wrong. Really? What a surprise. Oh, yeah. They treat you really nice there and they give you a new sweet toy when you're all done. Oh, I knew that all the time. And don't I look handsome? You sure do! And you smell good, too! So Nina took good care of you, huh, Jorge? Oh, she sure did, Daffodil. I can't believe how worried I let myself get when I didn't even know what a green shop was. Well, you know, it's like I always say. You should never jump to conclusions. Nina would never take me any place that wasn't good for me. That's why I'm not a bit worried about my trip to veterinarian tomorrow for a checkup. Oh no! 
Not the veterinarian. Do you know what happens in there? No, Bill! Yes, that's my name. Don't misuse it. Huh? Oh, yeah, well. Well, I don't really know what happens there. But if Nina thinks you should go, then I'm sure it's a good idea. Clifford, where are you, boy? Ruff, ruff. Wanna read a story, Clifford? Ruff. Okay, pick one out. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. This looks like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Pen Pals. Early one afternoon, Luna went to check her mailbox. Luna said she loved getting mail. She hadn't gotten any letters in a long time. None of them had gotten a letter of their own in a long time either. Then Speck said he knew how they could all get mail. They could write letters to each other. Luna wrote about the apple tree in her backyard and the day it blossomed with flowers. Reba wrote about her last basketball game and how she scored the winning point. Darnell and Ravi wrote about the great new books they checked out from the library. And Speckle wrote a letter that was all pictures, drawings of every one of his favorite activities. Soon Luna's mailbox was filled with letters and so were everyone else's, and they enjoyed reading and sharing their very own letters with all of their friends. The end. I love reading stories together. Oh, Clifford, you're such a small dog. You sure are a big reader. <laughs> Clifford. I like the flowered ones. But the black ones are cool too. They have to be just right. After all, it isn't every day that you get to see a Pogo Sticks concert. Clifford, they're upside down. <laughs> Silly puppy. It's Evan! See you after the concert, Mom! Okay, honey, have fun! Hey, guys! Hi, Evan! I like your shirt! <laughs> and I like your shades! Thanks! Clifford helped me pick them out! It's great that the concert is outside so that dogs can come, too! Clifford, are you ready for one of the most incredible music performances of your life? Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Solomon! <laughs> Hi, kids. Your cold sounds a lot worse than it did yesterday. Yes, I don't feel too well, but I have to put this letter in the mail today. Why don't we mail it for you? That's a great idea! We're going out anyway. Evan and I are going to the park to see the pogo sticks. They're a rock band from Europe. <laughs> yes, Evan, even I know who the pogo sticks are. They're famous. Well, there's no trouble taking your letter. There's a mailbox right outside the park. Oh, thanks, but this letter needs a stamp. I have to take it to the <laughs> post office. Mr. Solomon, we can take it. We have plenty of time to mail your letter and get our tickets, too. Well, thanks. Here's some change for the stamp. It's so nice of you kids to do this for me. Oh, no problem. Next stop, post office. Then it's concert, here we come. Uh-oh. Looks like Mr. Mia can use some help. He's having trouble with that dinner. He'll never reach. <sighs> hey, Mr. Mia, need a hand? I sure do. Maybe we each take one side. I'll stand back and tell you when it's straight. Hey, where's Clifford? 
Clifford! Whoa! Catch him! What's he doing? <laughs> I think he wants a ride. Well, what do you say, Mr. Mean? <laughs> okay, but carefully. <laughs> Boy, Clifford's having a great day. First a ride, then a concert. Right, the concert. We have to get going. Is it straight, Emily Elizabeth? A little higher, Evan. That looks just right. Careful, Clifford. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Man. That's okay, it happens all the time. <laughs> there we go. Clifford, now where did that puppy go? <laughs> Clifford, what would we do without you? We'd better get going if we want to mail Mr. Solomon's letter before the concert. Thanks for all your help, kids. No problem. Next stop, post office. Then in concert, here we come. No, no, no. I'll come back, y'all. Oh, no, what'll I do? What'll I do? Next stop, pet shop? Sounds like you better. Hello? Quick, the door, please shut the door. There are bunnies everywhere. <gasps> Hi there, little bunny. Okay, Mr. Bunny, come with me. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, the baby! The baby's missing! Oh, she's just a wee little thing. She's only this big! Clifford, thank you all. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. I've got to be somewhere in a few minutes. <laughs> so do we. Oh, well, thanks again. No problem. Let's go, Elizabeth. Next stop, post office. Then it's concert, here I'm we... Sorry, folks. I'm sorry, folks, but I don't understand what you're saying. They seem lost. Let's see what the deal is. You guys need some help? Uh, well, this group here is from out of town and they're lost, but uh, I can't figure out where it is they need to go. Well, maybe I can help. Let me see a map. The fountain? Are you trying to find the fountain? That's right near the park where the concert is. Oh, so that's what you were trying to ask me. Well, come on, I'll walk over. Oh, it was no problem. Come on, Emily Elizabeth. Next stop, post office. Then it's concert. Here we come. Oh, no. Let's get in line. Clifford? <laughs> Clipper, where did you go? I'm sorry, we can't mail anything with the tail. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Clipper, there you are. Emily Elizabeth, we're next. One step, please. Excuse me, we'd like tickets. I'm sorry, we just sold the last two. You're sold out? Oh no! I 
can't believe it. We've been looking forward to this concert forever. They're letting people in now. That could have been us. I guess we just didn't make it in time. I know, but we'll probably never get another chance to see the Pogo 6 play in concert. But we did help a lot of people today. <laughs> look! It's the Pogo Sticks! Get a look, because that's about as close as we're ever going to get. What is it, boy? I remember those sunglasses. It's them! The people we helped find the fountain! They were the Pogo Sticks! Do you think he remembers us? I think he might. And he probably remembers Clifford, too. Hey, the Hogo Sticks asked me to give these to you. What? For us? Enjoy the show. Thanks. Look! Front row seats! No way! Thank you! We love you! Come on, let's get our seats. Wow, this is awesome! I can't believe we're up so close! Hey, kids! Oh, hey, Mr. Mean! Are you here for the concert, too? You bet! And thanks to you two, I made it on time! You kids hungry? Help yourselves! Really? I brought lots of it from my store! Thanks so much! I just wish I had something for Clifford. Oh, now y'all don't worry, I do. What a cute dog! Well, thank you. I always carry snacks for him. Here, take some for Clifford. Thanks. Oh, no problem. It feels good to help your friends. It really does. Hey, so you guys ready to rock and roll? Well, here we go! Stubbed my toe, that's all. It's not really hurt or anything, it's just a little bit sore. But I don't really feel like running anymore. You guys go ahead and play without me. Sometimes the best way you can help a friend is to be kind, and that means being considerate of their feelings. Wait a minute, I got a big idea. Instead of playing tag, what do you say we tell stories? That way everyone can join in, even so. What a great idea! Thanks, Clifford. I'm really happy you found a way to include me. When you take the time to be kind, you can help a friend feel better. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is be kind. Hey, I got one. Once upon a time. Oh, I love it when they start like that. <laughs> <laughs> So there I was, flying along, minding my own business, of course, when all of a sudden, this round, white bird zooms up right next to me. Well, who was it? What'd you do? I said, well, hello there, I'm Norval, and who might you be? But this round white bird doesn't say a word. Oh no, oh no. Then, soon, she drops down right out of sight. Wow! 
So I look down. I see this white bird just lying in the middle of a field. Was she okay? Clifford, I had the same question. So I flew down to see if I could help. Merville, that wasn't a round white bird. It was a baseball. Well, excuse me. What? Well, a baseball? Well, I, I guess that could explain why she was so quiet. Hey, guess what, everyone? I'm going to the grooming shop day. Well, uh... That's great, okay? Terrific! It sure is. Great. What's a grooming shop? Well, it's, you know, a, a grooming shop where you, uh, you shop for grooming, I guess. Oh. Whatever it is, Nina says I get to go. Groom is just a fancy way of keeping yourself clean. So and I groom ourselves all the time. We lick our fur clean with our sticky tongues. Oh, is that what I have to do at the grooming shop? Of course not. Only cats can do that. Dogs probably just get a fancy bath with bubbles and stuff. A bath? That's worse than a sticky tongue. No, no, relax there, Jorge. I have seen lots of grooming shops, and I know all about them. This should be good. First, they give you a bath. Well, I guess that won't be too bad. Then, they trim your nails. Oh, that sounds okay. Then, they clip your fur off. <gasps> clip your fur off? That's awful. One time, Nina's baby cut pulled the fur on my tail. I didn't like it at all. Don't listen to Norville, Jorge. They don't have babies at grooming shops. Do they, Norville? Well, I, I've seen uh, maybe a one or two. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the grooming shop. Don't worry, Jorge. You don't have to go to a shop to get groomed. We can groom you right here. Okay, Jorge. Stand right here. Your grooming will begin any minute now. Hey, what's gonna happen? What am I waiting for? Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Great! <laughs> that should get him nice and clean. Hey, look at that little hot dog! Is enjoying himself! <laughs> Huh? Aww. Okay, Jorge. Time for some styling. Hey, whoa. Wait a second. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> Ta da! Wow. Never seen anything like it. Cool. Oh. Jorge. What happened to you? Oh, oh my goodness, you're a mess. I'm gonna call the grooming shop right now and see if we can get you in early. This is definitely a grooming emergency. Hmm. Some people just don't appreciate cutting edge fashion. Oh, now what am I gonna do? Who wanna help play with my squeak burger, Jorge? <sighs> no thanks. Come and play, Jorge! Yeah, you can be on my team! <sighs> no thanks. Hey, excuse me there, kids. Uh, I just want to give this super-sized dog biscuit to my very good buddy, Jorge, here. No thanks. Wow. The poor guy is really worked. He turned down a dog biscuit. I don't want to go. Oh, we got to help him, guys. There must be some way we can keep him from having to go to that grooming shop. I really don't think it's a big deal to go there. He'll be with Nina. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, why does my fur have to be neat and clean anyway? Wait! I have a big idea! Maybe if Jorge wore clothes, Nina wouldn't care if his fur was all neat and clean. She wouldn't even be able to see it! That's perfect! Great idea, Clifford! I still think you should just go to the grooming shop. But if you guys want to try this... Yes! <sighs> Come on, Jorge! We have a plan! You do? 
Are you dressed yet, Jorge? Um, sort of. Oh, come on out there, hot dog. Do I have to? Yes! yes! Okay. Well, here I am. You look great, Jorge. What do you think, Daffodil? Uh, well, uh, uh, I like your hat. Oh, I'm the go and show Nina right now. <laughs> Jorge, you look adorable. Hey, it worked. Nina, she looks adorable. Oh, you are so cute. Of course, I'll have to take all that off before we head off to the grooming shop. I came to tell you that we got your appointment changed. We'll be leaving in just a few minutes. You sure do look cute. <laughs> well, now what am I gonna do? There's only one thing left you can do, pal. That's right. Hide! What? No! You're right, Norville. I'm gonna look for a hiding place right now. Norville, what'd you tell him to do that for? A loony, I ran out of ideas, okay? How about this idea? We all just make Jorge feel better about going to the grooming shop. But he doesn't want to go. Clifford, Jorge doesn't even know what the grooming shop is. I say that Nina thinks it's a good place for him to go, then he should go.